close your eyes, watch your breath. And remember, you're doing this not just for yourself, you're doing it for other people too. The more control you can gain over your own mind, the less other people have to suffer. So by taking care of ourselves, the, in this way, the, the good results spread out. It's a kind of a gift. And this gift, like all other gifts, helps, helps to create a sense of connection. It erases boundaries between, between us. If you charge money for something, or if you say, make a trade, I'll give you this and for that, and you give me that, that puts up a boundary. It's kind of tit for tat. But if you say, I'm just going to give, then that erases whatever boundaries there were before. So when you're meditating and you feel, well, that's enough for me tonight, or enough for me today, ask yourself, is it enough for everybody else, too? And put in a little extra time. Because this is not a selfish activity, training the mind. The more you can find happiness inside, the less you need to lean on people outside. The more you can find a sense of satisfaction with getting the mind concentrated and gaining discernment inside, the lighter you are on the world. So keep that in mind. This is not just for you. It's for, for everybody. Generosity is for everybody. Virtue is for everybody. As the Buddha said, if you make up your mind you're not going to kill or steal or have illicit sex or lie or take intoxicants under any circumstances, you're giving universal safety to the world. And then yourself will have a share in that universal safety. That doesn't mean that you're automatically protected from whatever past bad karma you have. But it means that you will be able to deal with it better when it comes. You're not adding any new bad stuff into the equation. So the more good that you can put into the world, the, the more good the mind gains. As the Buddha said, when you, the case of the acrobats, you look after yourself, you're looking after the rest of the world. And there are times also, though, when you look after others, you're looking after yourself, developing good qualities in mind. This is one of the good things about the Buddha's teachings. It's not all just for you, or not just all for everybody else. The Buddha is not asking you to sacrifice your well-being for other people's well-being. Your genuine well-being is something you want to maintain, you want to, protect, or you want to protect. Once that's protected, okay, then you can help. But in looking after your own mind, you develop the qualities that make it easier for you to deal wisely with other people. And vice versa, when you deal with kindness and generosity, with a sense of uprightness in your dealings with other people, that returns and helps you. So it's not a matter of having to choose between your well-being and somebody else's. It's everybody's well-being is served by these practices. <laughs>